a USB flash drive can transfer a virus from an infected computer to a non-infected computer. So I'm going to show you how you can protect your USB d device and your computer. So the first step is to make sure that your USB is plugged into your computer. This. <clears throat> okay. Then you're going to come to your computer screen and open up your um, Explorer window and look for your USB. Here it is, right here, it's Drive E. I'm going to right click it and click Properties. Okay, move this here. Okay, the blue is how much space is being used up to store things on your USB device. And the purple space is what is free. So this is the space that a virus could potentially inhabit on your USB. What we're going to do is create a file that's big enough to take up all of that space. So you come down to your start menu and here in the search box you start to type in command prompt here it is you will right click that and choose run as administrator because that is what will allow you to make changes so yes and where the cursor is blinking the first thing you type in is F-S-U-T-I-L space file F-I-L-E space create new C-R-E-A-T-E-N-E-W space the letter of the drive of your USB in this case it was E colon slash dummy file d-u-m-m-y-f-i-l-e space then we move this over to look at how much free space is left on the USB it's this number here the number of bytes that is free so you're gonna just copy that number right into your command prompt here it is, 2116-423-680. Then once you do that, you can hit enter. And because it's a big file, it'll take a while to write it. And so if you just wait. So this is how you do it on a PC. Uh, you don't usually have to do it on a Mac because most viruses uh, are either not made to affect Macs or Macs already have the antivirus software. So here it says file e colon backslash dummy file is created. So we can close. If you look here, there's no more free space on your USB. So now you're safe to plug it in everywhere and you can still access all the files on it without getting a virus.